to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is Thursday. That means it's time for another review, another whiskey review, and boy do I have one for you today. Oh yeah, Mellow Corn. Mellow Corn. It wasn't that long ago that I actually got this bottle because there was so much hype around it. Literally, as soon as I entered the whiskey world, I start to look around everywhere and people are wearing all these mellow corn shirts, mellow corn this, mellow corn that. But really, what is that all about? Like there is some sort of crazy cult following for this bottle right here, this 100 proof, bottled and bond, straight corn, whiskey, Kentucky corn, mellow corn, there's, there's definitely a cult following and it's like a 10 to $12 bottle. I don't know what this is all about, but I'm about to dive in and give you guys my review. I, I never thought I'd be reviewing Mellow Corn, but here we are. And I'm just gonna start off with how the bottle itself looks because the bottle is actually really cool. To me, the bottle looks cool. It's kind of nostalgic. It kind of just reminds me of Mellow Yellow. I just, I like it and I like the bright yellow. I like the bright green. I like the bright colors. Like the bottle itself, I'm sold on the bottle, right? Just, just to have this on my shelf as a talking piece, no matter what this review tells you, I think I want this bottle on my shelf. So now it's time to get into what's actually inside this bottle. That whiskey. How does it taste? Well, I'm about to tell you. Actually, no, first I'm gonna tell you how it smells. So. It's very light. It's a very light color, like like yellow, I guess. No, it's not really yellow, but it is a light, a very light golden color, like not dark at all. Now, now I'm gonna smell it. On the nose, there's not really a lot going on with it. On the nose, I get this combination of Cheerios and corn puffs. You know those little yellow corn puffs? And also, this like waxy note. It almost smells like a waxed candle. Like, um, do you know those little wax can candy candles? Not candles, they're little wax candies. They have juice inside of them. You had them as a kid maybe, well at least I did. But inside those, like you, like you rip the wax topper off and you get juice. Well, it smells like the wax topper to me. That's what I get on the nose. Definitely not a lot going on. There might be the slightest hint of maybe a little bit of like brown sugar and there's also a light sour note to it. But overall, there's not a whole lot going on with the nose on this one. So, I mean, take it or leave it. it at least it's not like, oh my gosh, it's so bad, right? I can smell it, I can nose it, and I'm not completely off put by it. So, ding, there's a plus right there. Now, let's get into the palette on this little baby. Wow, well, did I just pour breakfast in my mouth or am I drinking whiskey? Pretty sure I literally just had a corn puff explode in my mouth. Literally what that tastes like to me. It is very waxy. That waxiness that I was smelling, it actually has this filmy taste. Like it leaves a film, and a very oily, waxy film on my tongue. I gotta take another sip of this. It's very sweet, very, very sweet. It doesn't punch you. Obviously there was no burning on the nose hairs. There's not really any heat coming through on the palate. It's just very, very, very sweet. Let me reiterate that. It's very sweet, very, very sweet. It tastes literally like corn puff cereal. Like if you're just gonna eat corn puff cereal and you like corn puff cereal, then heck yeah, grab this bottle. It doesn't taste that bad. For $12? For corn puffs? I mean, that's a little expensive for corn puffs. I don't know how expensive cereal is this day these days because I haven't bought it, but I feel like cereal's probably be gotta be getting up there too. Let me take another swig of this. I wanted it to smell like, like Mellow Yellow or Mountain Dew but just because the label just makes me think of that. Like when I look at the label, I'm thinking soda pop, right? Coke, soda, some kind of pop. I don't know, how do you say it? Coke, soda, pop. Where I, when I grew up, I called it pop. And then I started calling it Coke. And now, some, for some reason, I start calling pop, soda, and Coke, and I, I don't even know what's happening. 
So there's that for you. I don't know how we ended up at cereal and pop, but here we are. So let me take another swig of this one. I can understand why people really like this, right? Sweet. It's not like grassy or pastury. Doesn't taste young. It just tastes like cereal. Like really, it's like you poured cereal and whiskey and you know what? I wish I had a bowl of corn pops. Corn, yeah, corn pops or corn po corn pops. That's what it is. Corn pops. Yeah! <laughs> You know, even that waxy film on the outside of those, that's what I'm getting from this. I wish I could just literally pour this into a bowl of corn pops and eat it, because that might be pretty good. I don't know. Ooh, now that I'm sitting here, I might have even gotten a little bit of honey. It might have had it. It might have had just a little bit of honey. Anyhow, I'm off on so many Dara tangents, so many squirrel tangents. It just, I'm not sure if I quite understand the cult following behind this bottle. I know people really like it. It's a great price. It's, I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It doesn't smell bad, but obviously it's not gonna be a bottle I reach for on my shelf. I'm not gonna like actively reach out for this bottle unless I'm gonna be like, friends, you gotta try this bottle. You gotta see what this tastes like. If you've never tried it, you gotta buy it. So should you buy it? Sure, if you've never tried it, buy it. It's $12. Go, you could use this or you could go get a Chipotle burrito or maybe you, I don't know. I, if it's on your shelf, it's not a bad thing. But if you don't wanna try it, it's not a bad thing either. It's not like you're missing out on something spectacular that's $12. I can guarantee you that. For me, I have so many other whiskeys on my shelf that I would rather drink than this one. And also for me, like if I'm gonna, I don't know, if I'm gonna select a less expensive bottle, I'm gonna go with a Wild Turkey 101. Wild Turkey 101 is like literally $8 more than this bottle, eight to $10 more. And for eight to $10 more, I'm gonna make that jump up to that bottle with a little bit of a better taste for my profile. If you like it though, more power to you. But for me, this one's just kinda meh. I would definitely rather have other things. Like it's not like punishment level, but this is like on the level of special, well or special reserve for me. And that's why I'm gonna give this one two corks out of five. I know that's literally just because you guys know my ranking system, right? It's based off of nose, palette, and finish. And this one just does not have a lot going on with it. I mean, you get a little bit on the nose, you get a little bit on the palette. The finish is kind of meh, but it definitely just tastes like cereal, corn pops, cereal, corn pops, corn puffs. I don't know. Corn pops. Definitely corn pops. That's what I was thinking of. The yellow one with like the waxy outside. So anyhow, two corks out of five. That's what I'm giving this one. Have you tried mellow corn? I need to know. Have you tried it? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. And as always, I really, 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 really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel, for liking, subscribing, being patrons. I am so grateful for you. As always, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. I'm Dara. See ya.